Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to turn on and use NVIDIA Shadowplay and what all of the different settings mean that are actually important for uh, recording your gameplay. So if you're not familiar with NVIDIA Shadowplay, it's just a recording, you know, like highlight clip capturing software that is built into your NVIDIA graphics drivers when you use the NVIDIA app, formerly known as the GeForce Experience. To turn it on, all you have to do is go to settings and then toggle on the NVIDIA overlay, which is right here at the top, toggle this on. And then to open it, all you have to do is hit Alt-Z while you are in the game, which I conveniently happen to be in Helldivers right now. And I can hit Alt-Z and it will show all of my NVIDIA Shadow Play options, including the gallery of whatever I may or may not have captured, which I haven't recorded anything yet. And to record, I have to hit Alt F9 for instant replay, Shift Alt, or Alt Shift F10, which records a small little clip of however many seconds you preset it to. You can go into photo mode by hitting Alt F2. You can take a screenshot by hitting Alt F1. You can automatically capture key gameplay moments with highlights, or you can use game filter with Alt F3. And you can down here, turn your microphone to be always on or push to talk. So you can be communicating with people while you record in your game footage. So really what we want to start out with is I'm going to go up to settings and I hit the gear. Because I'm curious what their settings are. So you can change your shortcuts here under shortcut controls if you want to. That's pretty self-explanatory. You can tweak this to whatever you want by simply clicking on it and then clicking the button that you want to be your key binding. Uh, we've got the heads up display, which can have statistics in the upper right corner. Can I turn this off? I'm not really super certain I even want this, to be honest. Um, but yeah, the heads up display will provide you information about your FPS and everything else while you are playing CPU usage, GPU usage, all of that good stuff. Um, it's really just telling you what's going on while you're recording. You can also set up some notifications, like if it's got highlights saved or recording saved, all that good stuff. This is all pretty self-explanatory too. When it activates something or saves a video, etc etc it will record that information and send you a notification that stuff has happened so what i'm really more interested in is i'm interested in the audio settings for the different tools so you can kind of mix how loud your background is versus how loud your microphone is while you record and you can do separate tracks which is important if you want to edit your audio where it separates out your microphone audio from the background audio I would always recommend separate tracks, but that's completely up to you. Uh, after that, there is the video capture settings. So instant replays can be up to 20 minutes in length. It's by default five minutes, just so you know. And you can enable the ability to actually record your desktop by toggling the button at the top. So you can actually do tutorials by recording your screen as well, just straight on your desktop, which is really handy. So I like that they've simplified since the last time I did a video on this subject, uh, how they do the quality control for your recording, where they just give you presets of high quality, medium quality, or low quality. The resolution is just set to whatever your current resolution is in the game. Frame rate 60. Um, the bit rate is 50 megabits per second, which is a little overkill, even for a uh, 2K resolution but I will leave that alone. I let my OBS recorder record as big as it wants. So whatever, that looks good. Uh, what else have we got? We've also got files and disk space. It can let me determine where I want my files saved. Temp files are stored in my app data folder. And then the gallery is in my user documents under Larry and videos in NVIDIA, okay. And if I'm concerned about me forgetting that I've left this turned on while I'm recording, I can also limit the disk space that it's allowed to use so that it doesn't hork up all the space on my hard drive, which is nice. I can enable this and I can set a limit of up to 
1.8 terabytes. So, there you go. That's cool. Um, I think that's it for settings. So, to record, all I have to do is hit Alt F9. So, Alt F9. Record. Do you want to turn on desktop capture? Yes, I would love to capture whatever's going on. All right, I'm not sure what was happening before, but for some reason when I was playing around with settings inside of the game while I was recording this tutorial, it broke the recording feature. So first I'm going to turn off the statistics because I don't really need those and they kind of are just in the way. So we'll just do Alt R and then Alt F9 is our magic recording button and recording has started. So I guess the moral of the story is don't try to fiddle with turning the overlay on and off while you're already in a game that you want to record with it. So I'm just going to run around, record a little bit, and then I will take a look at what the quality looks like. So we'll just go Alt F9 and see what we got. So let's Alt Z. And here's my recording. It shows up in the gallery. I'm going to mute myself, though, because I want to hear me twice. We can't let the Illuminate do whatever they're doing. Okay. So, yeah, you can see me running around, looking around, and it's very smooth. So, definitely no notes or different, con like, changes to that. And yeah, that's it. You just go in and make sure all your settings are correct for, like, audio devices. Because I can go into the settings and underneath of audio, just make sure it's the correct, like, Blue Yeti Pro for my microphone. And should be good to go. You might have to play with this mix a little bit so it doesn't, like, drown out your voice as a side note. Just because that happens when you're recording sometimes. And I guess they full-on removed the ability for NVIDIA to stream like it used to. Because there used to be a point in time when NVIDIA could stream to Twitch and YouTube. And I think... Oh, there's like Hitbox or something that used to be around for a website. And it, now they've just taken it out, which is probably for the best because it didn't work very well. So yeah, this has been a look at how to activate and use NVIDIA Shadowplay. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.